What's going on, Hustle Fam? Hey, welcome to my first real YouTube video with Pristine Vending. Thanks for checking me out. And we are in the beginning stages of February now, so y'all know what time it is. Hey, one month collections for January. That's my brother right there, so he gonna be behind the camera working with me today yeah, and anything that, else I need. Uh -huh. Yeah, let him know, man. Where they can find you at? Too slow. All right, he ain't trying to shut y'all out. Hey, y'all stay with me, though. We about to get into this first location, and I trust and believe this location got two machines, so I believe I'm gonna pull out two stacks. Let's see. All right, man. As you can see, we got to improvise. Did some nuts stuff and left the hand truck at the crib, so. Hey, we're gonna make it work though. The location we're going to now is in the break room of a warehouse. And while we're making our way there, y'all do me a favor real quick. If y'all looking forward to seeing these one month totals, make sure y'all smash that like button for me so we can keep this going. And then I come up here to sign in. And I'll be right back. I don't know how many people is in the break room. It's lunchtime, so I'm gonna try to record for y'all, but no guarantees. Let's hope. Feel like somebody was on lunch, but we got it to ourselves for now. So, hey, what they say? Let's make haste. Oh yeah, the moment we all been waiting for. It's one month collection time. Let's get into it. I know it's sold and how many, not only because I vlog as a form of record keeping, but also because on every fill up, I'll be sure to place an item in the very last slot in the very back of each row. So that way, when I come back to visit, if something's sold, then the last item will be pushed up to the same amount of slots of the quantity of the item that's sold. So all I have to do is count the amount of empty spaces in the back. I know that's a mouthful. I hope y'all got it. I got standing from the side. Go ahead. Do it. The top sellers at this location are definitely the Dr. Peppers and the Mountain Dews. They go through them like water. And if you locked in with me on TikTok, you already know the story with those monster coffees. And we can't head up out of here just yet. We always want to check out our coin mechanisms before we leave to make sure they're always full. Come around here and see this one. And this one needs some quarters, so I'm gonna put about two dollars or quarters in them. Don't tell me up in the comments. I'm gonna be back later on for the fill up. I just can't click the money and I actually don't have anything this machine needs, so I'll be back in a few days. Y'all stay tuned for that video. Hey, look, so we just not getting back in the whip. And look, fam, y'all ain't tell me I was in there without my mask on. Bro right here just not telling me that shit, man. Y'all wrong for that. Y'all should have told me. I'm the snack man. I gotta have mine, though. But they fuck with me anyway, so it's all love. But look, so this is what we collected. Bag A. It's for the snack machine. Check that out. Not bad, not bad. Bag B is for the drink machine. It ain't a bad collection at all, but I ain't gonna count it until the end of the day. So y'all stay with me. I might post it in the end of the video, but otherwise catch it on TikTok. All right, I'm gonna check y'all out at the second location. See you there. And we're back here at my other location. So this is our second spot we're hitting up. I got one snack machine here. So we're about to run in here and check that out and see what we made for the month of January. And just like last time, y'all come over here and check out these trays and see what's sold. And I have a more up-to-date machine in one of my storage units that I'm looking forward to moving here. This is a location that constantly sells out, so I want to look out for them and put an up-to-date machine here for them. Look like somebody got two freebies on me. Got to be more careful. Alright, now for the break. This is from last visit when I was here. Mm. So, one went, hold on, hold on. And there's some more in there, but it's buried in the corners. Like, get a 
teacher. Oh, of course. Jeez Louise. Same thing as last time. We're gonna check the quarters. It's usually the quarters. That's why I always say quarters. So we're gonna add two dollars in quarters here also. Put another two in there. All right, so we put a total of four dollars in this one. Man behind the machine. I ain't know y'all finesse. Okay. I ain't know y'all finesse. So how I know? Mm -hmm. I'll show you. Something. And I know I got finesse because whenever it's the front row missing that mean it didn't spin but it's missing a product you feel me so somebody either shook it or dug something in there and shook it out because otherwise it'll be like that you feel me mm -hmm. so that's how i know somebody got me pretty quick pristine yeah we ain't gonna fill it all the way up right now i'll be back later on i just gotta see what all i need I'm just filling in everything I got on me for now. Never have too many vanilla wafers. So that makes location two that we're just now wrapping up. All right, let's see what we brought in. Oh, I ain't gonna hold you. This is one of my best locations here, if not the best location. But for one month of January, and keep in mind, this is the location that had the jam bill acceptor. I'm not sure for how long. So I'm sure it would have been more than this if that bill acceptor won't jam. But look at what I brought. Can you see it? I'm gonna spin the camera around for you. All right, check this out. That's what I had to pull out the jam bill except there got too full and won't take no more money. So I put this in with the change and this is what I just now pulled out. I'm gonna count it all later and I'll get back with y'all with the count. All right, we just made it back to our, what's this? Our third location? Yeah, this is our third location. And this is another church slash community center slash a bunch of other things, so. I'm gonna have to say this is probably one of my, it's one of my top locations, but I don't know if I'll put it at my second or third best, but hey, let's see how much we brought in for the month of January, one month collection. Stay tuned. And again, filming these trays is like a form of record keeping for me. So when I go home, I could count the empty spaces on video and I could be in and out of the location much quicker. Broken oatmeal cake. So we're gonna just replace it. We only sell pristine items. All right, y'all ready for that stack? Let's take a look. One month. Let's see what we did. Oh, not bad. some golden dollars in there. Just until we get in the car. Y'all know what we do next. Gotta check the change. And this one's okay. It could probably use another dollar, but that's all right. This one, this location, don't use too many quarters. All right, that wraps it up at this location. And I'll be back to fill it up in a few days. All right, y'all, that wraps up our spot number three. Yeah. Do I got the money for y'all? 
I think y'all have seen it in the video. I'm not sure, but um. Anyway, we're on our way to our last spot. It's a soda machine in a scrapyard, so y'all stay tuned for that. It's a slower location, but it's one month, so hey, I got hopes for it. This one too bad, right? People uh, here pretty friendly. Yeah, they very nice, man. Yeah, they fuck with us, man. Uh, they actually was running literally to the door, so we ain't even had to touch the door, treating us <laughs> like kings, man. A little too much for pristine. That's that real pristine treatment. Hey, but look, we gonna meet y'all at the other location. Y'all stay with us. We're at my last location for the day. This is a scrap metal yard. Let's see the soda machine. There it is, in all its beauty. Let's get into it and see what's up. This machine is operated outside, so weather definitely plays a major part in its sales. This machine usually picks up pretty good in the summertime. It's pretty slow now because it's winter. But for the one month collection, let's see what that stack looking like. Okay, not bad. Definitely for this location, I'll rock with it. But what do I see there? Is that another bill jam? How come nobody called me for this? See, this is the type of thing that we cannot tolerate. Imagine how many sales we missed out on. This is a major no-no. Yeah, let's hurry up and get this out of here. I can't believe they let this happen. The sticker with my number on on the front of the machine is not just for decoration. But nah, the guys that work here are pretty awesome. I'm just joking. It's really up to me. I should have been by here sooner to check on it and I would have been on top of it. Well, that wraps up for this location. Let's get on back to the car before I get too dusty out here. And I'll meet y'all back at the spot to count all the bread. All right, we're here at the lab, so let's get into it. In this bag is the money collected from our first location snack machine, which was a warehouse. So the snack machine brought in $59 cash, $21.10 in change for a total of $80.10. And in this bag, we have the drink machine from that same warehouse. And that drink machine brought in $32 in cash, $17.55 in change for a total of $49.55. And in this bag, we have what was made out of the snack machine from our second location, which is a community center slash church. And if you follow me on TikTok, here's that dollar that's been causing me problems. This is the whole reason for that Bill Jam video. So the snack machine at this location brought in $101 in cash, $95.05 in change for a total of $196.05. And now I'm pulling out the money that was made from our third location, which is a branch from the same church slash community center as our second location. The snack machine at this location brought in $127 cash, $16.25 change for a total of $143.25. Last but not least, our fourth location, the scrapyard. And for it to be wintertime, this drink machine actually surprised me. It brought in $31 in cash, $26.30 in change for a total of $57.30. So the total revenue made from these five vending machines for the month of January is $526.25. You can lock in with the Hustle family by subscribing and smashing that like button so the YouTube algorithm will push this video to other like-minded hustlers. Y'all leave me a happy hustles in the comments. As always, happy hustles.